So next we talk about machine learning. So pattern profile are useful because they are they provide basically statistical information what you find in, in, in a sequence. However, they do not include the negative examples of things that are not there. So that might be that is something that's overrepresented in all sequences, for instance, and you wouldn't see that. On the other hand, machine learning methods are computer programs that are taught that learn the best way to solve a problem. It has been a, you, obtaining a huge progress the last few years, but we will discuss mainly the history which started here. And in general, the way you teach a machine to do something is not by telling it what to do, but you, you don't input those positive and negative examples. So, so you basically tell it to separate these two classes. You can read much more about machine learning and particular what's called deep learning nowadays in, in if you go to Wikipedia. And uh, there are many methods, and I will discuss two mainly here. Uh, artificial neural network and support with machines. If you remember earlier, we already discussed by hidden market models. It's also machine, machine learning methods that was used, that was discussed earlier. So there are a number of applications of machine learning in mathematics. You do it for, can use for gene prediction, protein family classification, protein structure prediction, secondary structure prediction, top family topology prediction, protein component prediction, sequence alignments, etc., etc. And there's also a lot of in, information or high throughput experiments you can, for instance, use look at to, to describe the copy number variation, peptide protein C transfer shock from proteomics, etc. So there are a few terms that are very important in machine learning that we should go through before we start discussing more details. And one is the difference between the regression and classification. In regression, you want to predict one or more variables that are dependent. So there can be continuous numbers typically. So you want to predict what is the uh, surface area of a residue. So is it one angstrom, ten angstrom, hundred angstrom? And other than classification, you want to predict what group, uh, uh, what class a uh, particular um, item contain, uh, belongs to. So basically, in this case, it would be if it's barred or exposed, you have some binary classification. Another important terms of supervised learning versus unsupervised or semi-supervised learning. In supervised learning, you have all the training samples labeled. So you basically know that this is an exposed residue and this is an unexposed residue, non-exposed residue. A barred residue and not an exposed residue. In unsupervised learning, you would instead just try to classify things. You take all the residues and try to group them, and hopefully, by this classification, you will learn something about the different groups. And same supervised, it's like we have a set of examples that are, are classified and a set that are not. So, to define this, if you have supervised learning, you will have two sets of examples. So this is uh, patients that develop heart, cardiac disease and patients that do not contain develop heart disease. So this is two, two groups of patients. You know which one will develop cardiac disease and which one will not. And they have a couple of measures. In this case, LDL and HDL levels. So this is uh, levels of lipids in the in blood, I guess. So you can just see here that basically it seems to be bad to have low HDL and high LDL because that's kind of that corner are the, the ones that get the heart disease. Uh, but you can also think about the other measures. You can have mRNA1 and mRNA2 levels, for instance. And then, of course, the, the trick is what, what happens to if you have this number of yellow one, that it was, is, is, would you predict it to develop a heart disease or non heart disease? So basically, you would try to find the kind of a line here that separates these two groups. And in this case, okay, this is someone that not, not so likely to predict heart disease, the yellow one. On, in unsupervised learning, on the other hand, you will have a group of patterns like that, and then you will try to organize them into two groups. You will have a red group, and, but you don't know, then they will maybe look at the features later or something like that. But you see, that these are two groups that are separated. 